Chickie's missing. Here goes. Got it. Bam. Aha! Take this. <laughs> Catch it! Chicky, get the shuttlecock. Hi, guys. Have you seen Chicky around? The thing is, I've picked a pie for him, but he's nowhere to be found. I'll tell you for three slices of pie. Sure thing. Here, you can help yourselves. There's your Chicky. Oh, Chicky, there you are. I baked a pie for you. Here, try it. All right, then. I should go. Bye. Yeah, Franny makes the best pies. Oh, yeah. Only not enough. I know, I know. I have a plan that will help us score more pies from Franny. Chicky, let's go to our place. <laughs> There, Chicky. Go play. So, when Franny goes out to look for Chicky again, I will tell her where he is for five... No, 25 pies! What a terrific idea! Chicky! These are my things! Don't touch them! Uh, well then, I'm off to check if Franny is already looking for Chicky. Hi there, Franny. Have you seen Chicky around? Hello. Running somewhere, I guess. Are you about to start baking a pie? Not now. Why? No, nothing. Well, I'll see you later. Chicky, wait! Sonia, why exactly did you let Chicky play with my things, huh? I didn't let him do anything. He's just taking them himself. So, how's the situation with Pies? Is Franny looking for him? No, she's not looking yet. All right, I'm gonna go check again. Maybe Franny has already started looking for this punk. Sammy, maybe it's better if I go to Franny? Nah, I'll go myself. And you, little punk, stay away from my things! Yeah! Take Sonia's! They're prettier! Hop, 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 hop! And one, and two, and one, and two, and three, and four! Uh -huh. So I guess you're not working on the pie yet? Not at the moment, no. And one, and two, and three, and four. Maybe a bit later. Oh, I see, I see. So you're not going to go looking for Chicky, either. Mm -hmm. All right then, Franny. See you later. Why are you here? Where's Chicky? I just can't stay in there any longer. <sighs> I don't even want pies anymore. Chicky? Why are you bullying? Ah! Help me! Sonia, help me! Hurry! Hurry! Oh, it's you guys! Hello! I've just finished baking a pie with apples! Hi there, Franny! Here's your chicky! Chicky, do you want your pie with jam or condensed milk? Well, we're gonna go. Already? What about the pie? You can give our share to this little yellow punk. But Chicky is not a punk. Chicky is a very polite and well-behaved chicken. Chicky, where are you going? No! Don't Chicky. fall! Away. What is it? What about the pie? What is going on here? But 
Lucky lends a hand. Come on, Bjorn, go for it! Uh, it kind of works, right? I'm pretty sure you don't play soccer with pine cones. Funny, Bucky. Our ball ended up in the stinging nettles. Ha! And you're scared of a few nettles? I got this. Around here. Could you lend us a hand? Yes, I can. I'll be right back. You're going down, nettles. Oops, a little carried away. Hey, our ball. Thanks very much, Bucky. Yeah, you're like a one bear rescue service or something. If you need something, let me know. Bucky, lend me a hand? Something's up with my TV. For some reason, it isn't working. Right. <laughs> Time to be super awesome! <laughs> you call that an antenna? I'll put up a pro antenna array. You'll be able to pick up TV shows for Mars. No, wait, Jupiter! Bucky's here to lend a hand. Just wait till you see what he's planned. He's the helpingest bear in the whole darn land, and his services are in high demand. Oops, a little carried away with the size. But bigger is better, right? And I used a lot of tape so it shouldn't fall. Looks like my TV's working super. And I've got some really awesome new channels. <laughs> Razor Vision, you're welcome. Incredible, Bucky, thanks. Not a problem. Maybe you could put a positive review up on my webpage. That'd be great. Hey there, handsome. Bucky, I need a hand. My whole poor garden is in the shade. Don't panic. <laughs> I'll get it sorted, friend. Yep. It's from Franny's antenna. No worries, Bjorn. I'll just set up another light for you. It'll be way better than the sun. All right, then. I just need to design something that will ultra mega shine. Yeah, the sun is fine. But it doesn't shine like mine. Oops, carried away with the shine. Now everything's growing too fast. You'll be all right. You can just eat faster. Sure, okay. Thanks a lot, Bucky. Don't mention it. Help is my middle name. Huh? Oh. Chicky, what? Do you need a hand with something? See, the thing is, we're actually closed for business today. But since it's you, I suppose I could make an exception. All right. Lead the way. Bucky, hurry! Put everything back like it was! Whoa! I'll sort it all out as soon as we get away from Dragonflyzilla! <laughs> Bjorni, let's hide in the forest. Uh, 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 there isn't too much forest left to hide in. Uh, let's go to Franny's. Uh, hey, Bucky, there's TV on my iron. I'm getting TV on everything. That antenna is just too strong. Um, is that a giant dragonfly? Why wasn't this on the news on my iron? Well, Franny, I think your extra strong antenna won't be a problem for much longer. Uh, <laughs> well, Buck, care to lend a hand? Oops, I got kind of carried away, but I learned thing or two today. Bucky's helping hand is here to stay. But I'll try to tone things down, okay? Bucky, what are you doing? I'm just replacing the nettles I cut down. I'm gonna say that's taking it too far, buddy. Oops, got a little carried away. 
The bear on the moon. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And... Bucky, quit sitting on your bottom. Get over here and help me load up. I'm not just sitting on my bottom. I'm running ground tests of all the ship's systems before we leave on our expedition. And anyway, I'm the captain. Loading is grunt work. And on this crew, grunt means huh? you. <laughs> hey, Bucky. Hey, Bjorn. What are you guys doing today? Going on a little space trip or something? Franny, hey there. We're not going to space. We're going to the moon. We're going up to the moon to plant some trees. There's no plants growing up there at all. A tree planting expedition? Totally cool idea. Me and Chicky are definitely coming. We'll be in charge of tying pretty ribbons around the trunks of the baby trees. Nope. No chickies or little kids allowed. This isn't a game. <sighs> it's serious. Franny, try not to be upset. We'll bring you back a beautiful moon rock. The prettiest one ever. All right, so it's like that, is it? But don't expect to get any more yummy fruit punch. Chicky, guess what, buddy? You and this fox are headed to the moon! Sneaky, sneaky, take a peeky! Sweet. This is your captain speaking. We're about to fly to the moon in three, two, one, and ignition! Yeah, we're out of here. We're zooming past. The deep blue sky is cool and clear in the final fun frontier. Chicky? Hey there, guys. Franny, hey, what? What are you doing here? This is Amaze Pants Awesome! Franny, hi. You just can't be here, Franny. You'll cause too much trouble. Bucky, she's here, so get used to it. I mean, it's not like we can just turn the rocket around. You're right. Don't touch anything. Don't even look at stuff, all right? Aye, aye, Captain. That's kind of cool. Is that the steering wheel? Franny, steering the ship off course is most definitely touching something. Okay, me and Bjorni need to explore. Don't touch anything in the rocket. Especially don't touch a single button, all right? Yes, I heard you the first hundred times. Don't be gone too long, guys. Judgment, but so far, I'd give the moon like one and a half stars tops. Bjorn, do you happen to have anything to eat with you? No, all the food we brought is back at the rocket. Franny must be really scared. She's probably crying her little eyes out right now. Is that you guys or a pair of moon monkeys? Franny! Okay, that's all of them. Here comes the Space Ribbon Squad! Are we clear to pretty up the moon? Of course you are, Franny! Go for it! Ribbon up in space! Brighten up the place! Like a baby's face! Well, walk, it could walk, be walk worse! Away, she could have brought little hats for them! Mm -hmm. 
contact? Time to... what's that word again? Oh yeah, check. Time to check all the stuff. Food supply for 103 days. First make Yorn, please state the mission goals in 10 words or less. It is to boldly go where no bear has gone before. And? And to establish contact with real life aliens. That's right. Well done, unpaid voyage intern Franny. Your next assignment is to try and find some rocket fuel. Go! Button test, check. Proceeding with a test of the ship's systems. First test, I'm pretty sure this turns on the windshield wipers. Bucky, we barely got any fuel in the tank. That was not the wiper lever. Oopsie, it collapsed, just like last time. And like the time before that. Yeah, looks like we're not very good at building houses. But we have to live somewhere. Yep, I guess we should keep trying. Let's try it roof first this time. Huh? huh? Uh... Looks like my rocket is faster than I thought. What, was that like 10 seconds and I'm on another planet? Uh... So I guess it's Captain's Log time. Captain's Log, around lunchtime, the alien world looks a lot like Earth. Whoa, I've spotted a tribe of alien natives. I will try to make contact. How do you guys? I am Bucky Bear. I've come here from the far away planet Earth. Right, they can't understand my language. I should try something different. What's with him? I'm not sure. I think he thinks we're aliens for some reason. I don't care what planet you're from. Everybody speaks chocolate chip cookie. 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 Yes. <laughs> cookie. <good. laughs> so yummy. I think we're gonna love living in this forest. Should we tell that weird little bear that we aren't really aliens? Yeah, we'll tell him when the cookies are gone. Or <gasps> nom nom nom, space dudes. Seems the aliens were building some kind of hut. Where I come from back on Earth, I'm a mega famous inventor. How about I build a hut for you? <laughs> aliens for real see reals. I can't describe how cool this feels. Need a place to hang your ET hat? I'm gonna help you out, cause I'm great at that. In the name of Galactic Brotherhood, I'm gonna build you a house that's super good and super sweet and super rad. Are you ready to feel super glad? Cause here's your pad. Done, a present from Earth. It's yours, head on in, enjoy. <laughs> What was that? Ah, you're trying to tell me that you'd like to have a television. <laughs> Ta-da! Big old flat screen. With a gaming system, why not? Swing set, laptop, rackets, movie couch, iron stove, pine pod dock. Phew. And here's your smart fridge. Fine, I get it. Phew. Great. Pool for my new alien buddies. Bucky, there you are. We've looked everywhere. We were really worried the ship crashed. Oh, hey. Thanks for finding Bucky for us. Franny is my name, and that's Bjorn there. And you've already met Bucky. Sammy. Sonia. Really happy to know you. We really like it here. We were thinking we might stay. But we come in peace. Wait a minute. You guys aren't really aliens? And you both were just messing with me this whole darn time? Uh, run for it, Sammy! Quick! <sighs> Somebody should make a reality show out of this. Totally. Bucky, we apologize. We just stink at building houses. We had nowhere to live, and you were just so good and kind. And really geniusy. Huh? Oh, Bucky, they needed your help. You have to let them stay. That was the heart of our mission, wasn't it? You just made contact with raccoons when we didn't know any before. Yeah? Well, all right. You guys can stay. You can keep the house, but no way am I going to build you a pool. Thanks! That's very fair. Yeah, we don't need a pool at all. Oh, but a water park. A water park? Uh, yeah, sure. A water park would be cool, but you're helping. If we work together, we can build a water park that's out of this world. Everything in its 
place. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. All right. This piece goes here. Well, probably. <laughs> and this goes here, right? Uh, I'm not sure. Hi there, fellas. And what are we up to today? Hey there, Franny. Bucky and I are trying to build this Ferris wheel. And we should be finished in no time. <laughs> hey, what's that? Instructional manual. Um, you fellas will probably be needing this, right? You are doing it in the order it says, yeah? We don't need instructions. Instructions are for amateurs, right, Bjorn? I don't know, Bucky. Bolts and nuts and gears and screws. Gonna build this thing the way I choose. And I'll never, ever, ever use instructions. No way! I refuse. With my lefty loose and righty tight. Gonna build a thing that's out of sight. Gonna fill the world with pure delight. Cause I'm always right. Well, I'm not sure this is right. Hey, no worries at all. I'm just warming up. Second time's a charm. Well, the instructions say that the very first step... Franny, if you want to be helpful, go to my house and fetch my red screwdriver. Pretty please? Fine. Franny, could you pop by my place and grab my thermos of tea too, please? We've got a long way to go. Bucky, come on. This place looks like a bomb went off. There's no way I'm leaving here without cleaning. How's that? I still think we're not quite there. Yeah, I guess you could be right. Well, we'd be fine if I had my lucky screwdriver. Franny's been gone forever. Ugh, I'll get it myself. That must be some screwdriver. No! What? Bucky, your house looks weird. My hammer's gone. Where is it? And where's my drill? My drill! Plus my nails! My beautiful little nails! That Franny! How dare she clean my house like that? Um, well, it's kind of nice. It's so neat, and everything's in its place. But everything was already in its place. This is supposed to be an oil. These shouldn't have gotten wet. Look at them! Why? Oh, it's all ruined! Hey, guys! I got your favorite tool! Bucky, admit it. Franny did a good thing. Your house was a disaster. Bet she used instructions, right? I'll tell you what, Bjorn. How would you feel if she messed up all your stuff? And then I said it was a good thing. Well, my house doesn't look like a pigsty. Just look. It's perfect, right? Oh, yeah. It's perfect. I especially love the strings of pretty flowers everywhere. It's very you, Bjorn. Flowers? On my fishing rods? What on earth is going on here? Very nice. Looks like everything's in its place. It's a good thing, right, buddy? Wouldn't you say so? A really good thing? Why would she do this? My plants and herbs? Franny, you can't just put these things anywhere, you know? Everything was already in its place. It'll be all right. We'll both fix our houses later. Let's go build that Ferris wheel. I'm gonna tell that Franny something. She should learn to mind her own business and stuff. I've got a thing or two to tell her as well. You'll see. <gasps> Isn't that... That's our Ferris wheel! So when did you have time to build it? I had nothing huh? to do with it. But who cares? I call dibs on the rocket! I want the chubby reindeer! Franny, really? really? You put together the Ferris wheel? Well, yeah, I did. While I was waiting. It wasn't very hard. I just followed the instructions. Care for a ride, then? You're really something, Franny, you know that? Sometimes it's good to have everything in its place. That is very true, and maybe once in a while, it helps to read the instructions. And now we ride. <laughs> <laughs> Getting 
Getting into character! <gasps> oh, heavens! Ha-ha! Whack, whack! Take that, foul beast! Your breath is terrible! Huh? I've conquered the dragon! The people of my kingdom are safe once again! Let's hear it for King Bucky Bear! Hooray! 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 <laughs> Amazing performance, Bucky. Good job. Yeah, Bucky, you're really super good at playing a king. Well, if you say so, maybe I am. Why aren't you hanging your costume up? I'm just gonna wear this home tonight. Of course, your highness, whatever you please. <laughs> Bucky! Bucky! Is he still asleep? And why have you come before us? Bucky, come with us. We're gonna have a soccer game! Are you joking? I'm far too busy with matters of state to play soccer. Dragons are everywhere! Be gone! Maybe we might join you. Of course, anything you please, your royal highness. All right, Franny. No chance you're stopping this one. Yaha, uh -huh, just bring it on! <sighs> Welcome, your royal buckiness. Dost thou wish to play soccer? A great king never plays. A king observes and judges. I royally open this tournament. Bucky, enough! Drop the act! The play's been over for a long time! Yeah, time to move on from this king junk. King junk? That's how you talk to the bear that protects you from dragons? Uh, you are aware dragons aren't real, right? They're very real! There's fire-breathing ones, three-headed ones, little purple ones, ones on scooters. There's like a frillion different kinds. And I've set traps for all of them. Huh? But maybe I'll just let them eat you. How about that? Fine, do whatever you want. Let's get out of here, Franny. Fine, but you'll come running back the second a dragon appears and tries to gobble you up. Bucky's gotten pretty deep into this character. He's lost his mind. Let's go play tag. Sure thing, you're it. Can't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> That's very high. This has to be one of King Bucky's dragon traps. I'll be right back, Franny. Okay. Bucky! Bucky! Who is this Bucky? My name is King Buckheart, the really smart and handsome. So is there a dragon? Of course not. But it's one of your silly dragon traps. Poor Franny got caught inside it. Franny, we're here! Bucky, get her out of that thing. Guys, save me! It's really, really scary up here! Uh, I really didn't make a plan for getting it down. I just thought the dragon would stay in there forever. There's no such thing as dragons. Franny needs you, though, Buck, and that's real. Bucky, I'm so scared! Help me, Your Majesty! Oh. Uh, I'll be back! It's good to be the kingy, but when your trappy thingy puts your friend in danger, then uh-oh. It's groovy to be royal, but it's better to be loyal and help your friend out every way you know. I'm back, here we go! Bucky, what is that? I'm glad that you asked. It's an anti-dragon trapinator Isoratron. Franny, don't worry, you'll be out of there in no time. <laughs> Hooray! Bucky, thanks so much! You're my hero! Yeah, I like Bucky the Inventor better than King Doofus the First or whatever. <laughs> yeah? Really? Well, as it turns out, absolute power isn't that fun. How about a good old soccer game? Hooray! I call goalie! I call queen! In Bird's Words. Thank <laughs> you.
Hey, Bjorn! Hi, Franny! Why are you guys just laying there? How are you, Bucky? Me and Franny are listening to the birds singing way up in the sky. We're getting in touch with this majestic forest and its creatures. Are you nuts? You can't get in touch with birds! They're not talking! They're just chirping! Isn't that right, Chicky? If bears and foxes talk, I say birds talk too! Sure wish I could understand them, though. Not a problem! I'll just go and invent you a bird translatoratron, And when you can hear what the birds are saying, you'll hear that it's a bunch of nonsense! Maybe. Or maybe it's the prettiest poetry ever. Tweet and chirp and twit and hoot <laughs> Gotta make all of these sounds compute Gonna prove to them that not a single bird <laughs> Has ever, ever, ever said a single word That's absurd I give to you the world's only genuine bird talk translator Yes, huh? I'm awesome, you're welcome The Chirpatronic-tron Sometimes I even amaze myself I blow my own mind It is cool, if it works If? Let's test it on a heron I've always thought that herons looked a little bit shifty. They hang around swampland, sleep standing on one leg. Goodness knows what they eat, too. A highly suspicious lifestyle. Then let's go listen to whatever they've got to say. <laughs> How are we even ever going to find a heron through this mega swarm of mosquitoes? Uh, maybe they're nice mosquitoes that don't bite. Oh! Uh, uh. Right? It got really quiet out of nowhere. The mosquitoes aren't bizzing, and not a peep from the frogs. Well, that's a good thing. It'll be easier for us to hear what the herons sing. Bucky, all of the herons are gone as well. What's going on? Where could all the creatures be? Well, I guess we should find out, guys. There! A witness! I'll just question that suspicious-looking owl, and we'll find out everything. <laughs> all right, Beaky, out with it. Tell us what's going down in this swamp. Specifically, where are all the herons? <laughs> the frogs left, so the herons have gone to find food. <laughs> uh, so why did all the frogs leave? What'd you do to them? <laughs> the mosquitoes flew away, so the frogs pursued. Because mosquitoes are the frogs. Yeah, the food chain, circle of life, nature stuff. I think that we've broken it. Well, if we've broken it, then we've got to fix it again. Well, first we have to get the mosquitoes back into the swamp. All right, team. We've got an important job to do. Operation Frog Food. Buzz, 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 buzz. I'm actually happy to see mosquitoes. Frack, 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 are you sure about this? You're sure the mosquitoes aren't going to bite us? Of course! Frack, frack, Bjorni, since mosquitoes are eaten by frogs, frack, frack, mosquitoes have to be completely terrified by frogs. Frack, 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 Listen to that! The frogs are frack, 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 coming back. Hooray! That means the herons will come back. All right, follow me. Frack, 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 Are they still over there? Yeah. Why are they dressed like frogs, do you think? Who can tell? One of them appears to have a crude chirptronic tron. <laughs> That's so cute. As if a bear brain could ever understand the things we say. Val's talent. No! No, 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 no! Super! 
Inferno! Catch it! Got it. Oops, dropped it. Val! Guys, I'm sorry. I sincerely am. I didn't mean it. Uh, it's not a problem, but listen, it's our, uh, bedtime. Right, time to turn in. You should go visit Bucky. Oh, hi there, Val. Come in, come in. Hi there. Bucky, can I ask, are my arms all right? Good question. Well, hold them out. Seven out of ten. Well, the raccoons told me I'm ham-fisted. Here you go. We're going on an expedition in a cave. Can you change that light bulb for me? They're over on that shelf. Huh, I'm happy to. Give me a second. <sighs> Aw, oh, Mal! You're such a klutz. But you've revealed a structural flaw in my shelves. They shouldn't wobble like this. I need to lock these things down. Thanks for your help, my friend. Gosh, my pleasure. Is there anything else I can check? Sure. Take this ladder out and check it while I clean this up. Yeah, sure. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll clean this up, all right? Hi, Bucky. Oh, uh, what have you guys been doing in here? Well, Val and I have just been quality testing some things. And I made a mess, exactly like I always do. I'm just completely useless. Hey, Val, come on. There's got to be something special only you can do well. Really? Uh, but like what, though? A talent of some sort, like singing or dancing or drawing stuff. Hey, why don't you come with us to the cave? Thanks, but I'm going to try to find my talent. Everybody. I'm looking for Freddy. Hey, you! So, Val, how did you get here? Freddy, hey, guess what? I found my talent! Why are you all standing here in the dark? <laughs> That's better, right? Ah, now, where was I? Oh, yes, I found my talent! I'm going to sing. Oh, goody. Hey, here comes the mole with soul. Lord, he's on a funky uh... roll. Well, guys, am I good? Uh, yeah, it was all right. Do you think maybe you could get us out of this hole by any chance? Yes, of course. I can help you. Uh, this way, everyone. Just follow me. What? The best? Do you really think that? A hundred percent! That's right, Val. You found your special talent at last. <laughs> World of Fantasy! Onward, brave Franivir, to battle! And victory, Sir Bjornsalot! Hey there, 
guys. So what are you up to with those sticks? Are you building a fire? These aren't sticks. These are swords. And the stump is a castle. We're playing knights and dragons. It's pretty fun. Hmm. But you have to pretend that that really is a castle. Use your imagination. Yeah, well, I could do that. Or I could just invent something that would make everything that you can imagine come to life. Imagination's fine and all, but it needs a bucky overhaul. Cause I think just thinking is thinking small. With the dream machine that I install, we'll have a ball. to applaud your dainty paws off. Meet the uh, Fantasianizer. Uh. Now you can go inside a real life fantasy world. Hey, cool. Awesome, Bucky. There's no way. That's totally impossible. It's impossible? Watch this. I'll just imagine I have a sword in my hand. Whoa. Oh. Thank you, Fantasianizer. Buckle your seatbelts, because things are about to get unreal. Huh? Go on, imagine something. There you go, Franny. Now, Bjorn. Mm, I imagine that we are nice. Mm. Oh, cool, yeah. And I imagine a castle. Look out! The castle is defended by a dragon. And he breathes fire from his ears. Nah, that's taking it too far. There's no such thing as dragons. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. It's just not realistic. It's not realistic? It's not supposed to be realistic, Bjorny. We're supposed to be fantasizing. If you don't like it, then you don't have to play. All right, then I won't. No such thing as a dragon. I'm gonna find a renaissance fair. Those nerds are accurate. All right, Bucky. What now? Battle? Hang on! What we need is an awesome catapult, right? Yeah, but like a pretty one! <laughs> Ooh, and the castle really has to have a moat. With dolphins! I really like so it. So do I. Let's attack it. Charge time! <laughs> Oops. That's from my imagination. Yeah, and that's from my imagination. Hey, Franny, you've got to stop imagining things. I'm trying, but I just can't stop myself. Yeah, I can't stop either. Well, we took them off. Now who's going to clean up after our brains? Well, it should probably be somebody who knows how to control their imagination. Someone who likes to be all realistic and stuff. Ring any bells with you? Actually, yeah, I think I know someone. Bjorn could de-imaginationize the forest for us. Bjorny, hey, Bjorny, come up here. So we were wondering if you could help us make sense of all the stuff we imagined. Our brains kind of made a huge mess. I see. So you lost control of your imaginations, did you? Uh, you guys are all over the map here. What is that, a unicorn? Nope, no such thing. Lose the snowman, because it isn't winter. Nope, nope, nobody, nope. You have saved us all from our crazy imaginations. Imagination's great, but it isn't supposed to be real. You're right. Pretending stuff is cool because you're just pretending it. I'm gonna uninvent the fantasy -itizer. You're a great friend, Bjorn. Thanks. Well, after all that imagining, I'd say we're ready for a snack. How about cakes at my place? Cakes are a perfect idea, but why walk that far? We could just put on the helmet and imagine them. Giant cakes, talking cakes. Bucky, are you serious? Yes, I am. Seriously kidding. <laughs> <laughs> versus boys. <laughs> right, who wants another piece of pie? 
pie. Me! I'd like five! Look, fellas! I made some apple juice! Awesome, Franny! <laughs> we are just so lucky to have you guys. Ditto. Right, let's mm -hmm. go play. Thanks a lot. Oh, why don't you guys come watch us? From this moment on, boys and girls will live completely apart. Sammy, wait a sec. Bjorn, Sammy's right. It's not like it's hard to bake pies. This is guy land. <laughs> and this is girl land. Uh-uh. Girly stuff and girly things Like playing war and flower swing Like turbo racing skateboard kings Like bracelets, dresses, and earrings Selfies with a made-up face A three-way arrow rocket race With boys and girls in a separate space Then everything stays in its place Yeah, out of mind is out of sight The separation's pure delight But there's a feeling I can't quite fight Another pie? There's no room for another one. Hmm? Goodness! Gosh, Franny, what happened? <laughs> the oven must be broken or something. Do you know how to fix it? When I have a problem, I like to dress up nice. We could give the oven a makeover, right? Nah, Sonia, I think that we need... The, the dumb, dumb boys! boys. Carrot puffs again. But these are Cool Ranch. It's a new flavor. We've never had it before, right? Uh, I imagine the girls are eating some kind of cake. Um, I was thinking something. Yeah, I've been thinking too, Buck. Can we please just go and do what we've all been thinking, guys? I'll just say it, okay? We were incredibly wrong. We were dumb. Girls can absolutely play basketball. Listen, guys. We took things too far ourselves. Can you help? My oven's broken pretty badly. I would love to help you. Then we can have peace? Sammy's got the ball, but there's no way he's getting past Sonia. Catch, capable female teammate! And fleet-footed Franny the Fox dribbles down the court. She lines up her shot. Swish! Franny, excellent shot! And the score is 14 to 0. <laughs> Franny, listen. Could you go bake a pie? It's the only way my side will win. <laughs> Dinosaur. Big machine. With the Diginator Riser Tronomatic, we can dig a pool in no time. Wow, that is fantastic! Our own pool to swim in! And we could put some goldfish or koi in it. Hot 
diggity. Hear what I did there? Yes. Yes. Uh, I think it's stuck. Hung up on a rock or something. Holy uh. moly! Is that a big weird rock or what? That is just bizarre. Guys, this is not a rock at all. I think that we found a real dinosaur egg. Come on. Dinosaurs never existed. They were made up by a bunch of politicians. Uh. They totally existed. Right, next you'll say the world isn't flat. There's got to be a way to settle this, right? Genius! Time! We'll settle this once and for all with my time machine. Let's go! Huh? <laughs> Nice. And look, not a dinosaur in. What is that thing? It looks hungry. Every mammal for themselves. Bucky, it's not gonna hurt you. Look, it's sweet. He's just a baby still. He eats grass, not meat. Franny, how can you be so sure of what he eats? I read a book about it. Huh? Franny, what do you think that it wants? Hey, are you lost, friend? Stop crying. Guys, we just have to help this little dinosaur. Huh? huh? Um, they're flying ones too. Dude, they're everywhere. I think Franny's right. We need to help the little one. Uh, the young one. <laughs> so where are we trudging to? We're going to the forest on top of that hill. Aren't we, buddy? And how did you arrive at this plan? Bucky, have you got a better idea? Yes, I very do. Well, the sun is there. We need to walk that way. You can trust me, I am a genius. Bucky? Uh... Franny, why are you just standing around? Get a move on. Bucky, uh... Well, that's what you get. If you just hadn't existed, I couldn't do this. <laughs> Well, that was interesting. We are really up there. How will we get down, do you think? No need. Doesn't matter where we are, right? The only thing that matters is when. Bucky, we're not time jumping and abandoning this little guy. Hey, why don't we just take him with us? There's plenty of grass for him back home. He could live with us. But he has a home, and he's probably got a mom and dad. Bucky, you have to figure out a way to help him. It's genius time. Don't make a scene. Let me think. All right. I'm about to have a brilliant idea. <laughs> so here, everybody climb aboard. Flying high on a dinosaur. This is crazier than anything we've done before. But a friend in need we can't ignore. So we won't stop till your home wants more. <laughs> it's so sweet. Seriously, it's like a cotton candy cupcake brownie. All right, now can we finally go home? Are you satisfied? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. But it's time. Goodbye, bye, little bye, dinosaur! Dino <laughs> we have got to visit him again. But just 13 times a week or so. Sleek and speeding sailing ships racing down the river. 
Breaking hearts and fighting squid. Good morning, Bjorn. Uh, Let's go for a hike. I'm sorry, Franny. I can't go. I've got to get ready for the race today. Goodness me. Races are exciting. Just who are you racing? I'm racing Bucky. And the winner gets a real semi-gold medal. It's a boat race. Look at it, my sleek and powerful canoe. Wow, it really is beautiful. Can I ride with you in the uh -uh. race? Uh-uh. I can't carry any extra weight. Anyway, Franny, the current's so fast, it's really kind of dangerous. Ugh. But you could come and support me instead. Huh. Hi there, Bucky. What are you doing? Working on your boat for the race? Hi, Franny. Yep, you guessed right. My boat is really something else. That semi-gold medal is mine. Could we be a racing team? Sorry, but we can't. This is a one-mammal boat. <sighs> but if you could come cheer for me, that'd be great. I'm not a cheerleader. <laughs> Bjorni, what is this thing? A little wooden bathtub? Better make sure you don't accidentally pull the plug, because you'll sink. <laughs> yeah, just laugh your furry face off. I'll be waiting at the finish line when you're done. Franny, the fabulous floating fancy fox. Hey, racing bears, the fox is here. Is that a cross between a donut and a duck you're in? It's fine with me if she wants to race. Let's let her, Bucky. Where is the end of the race? It's just a simple straight shot to that ribbon way up ahead. First one to it wins. Yeehaw! Franny, the floating first place fox. Whoa! Ugh. That was crazy. Like some kind of mega high jump water trampolini thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a glitter carp. They're insanely rare. Hey, come back, Mr. Glitter Carp. One fish, two fish, three, four, five fish. But where is that shiny jive fish? Giving Franny lots of shoulder rubs and respecting her intelligence. Well, it could happen, right? Giving her opinion equal weight and maybe yeah. doing the dishes for Franny. once. Where'd Bjorn go? He must have slipped by me. And that guys. just will not stand. I feel the need, the need to go fast. That brown furry oh, blur oh. is Bucky Bear. Hmm? Yeah! Awesome! It's time for a little nitrous boost, I think. the anchor button nitrous button by mistake. Bucky, are you all right? I asked because you're hanging upside down from a tree. Just taking a little break. When you think upside down, more blood gets to your brain. Uh, Ow. Makes sense. Have a nice little break. Catch you later. And we'll change the name of the country to Franny Foxland. And everybody <laughs> will take naps and share their bacon. And if you're in a crabby mood, you'll have to wear a so it's over. This little wooden bathtub is about to cross the finish line first. Oh, wow. It's an incredibly rare Liberace dragonfly. <laughs> Wait for me, Bjorni. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Bucky! That's unacceptable! You knocked away my oar! I didn't mean to. I'm really sorry, but I can't help. I lost my anchor in a labeling accident. Bye! That's my semi-gold medal! Oh. Ah. No! Uh, stop following me! Never! <laughs> and all the clouds would be pink in Franny Foxland. This must be where the finish line is. Hooray! Let's hear it for Franny the Fox, the winner! Come on! Franny won? She beat our awesome boats with a dumb inflatable duck thing? Oh, yes, she did. But I got to see a real-life genuine glitter carp and a Liberace dragonfly. And I invented the water trampoline. Guys, I want to give you these. I had so much fun today. I really don't care about the medal at all. I just can't wait to do this again. Giving, Giving her opinions equal weight. And maybe doing the dishes for once. Here in Franny Fox.